Hi and welcome to a new video. In this new video I just wanted to review these three USB uh, hubs that have been sent to me. Um, so as usual just to be upfront these were sent to me free of charge but no one has reviewed or uh, is going to uh, view this video before it's actually published. So just to let you know this is my honest review and everything else. I have done two previous videos that I'll link to in the top right hand corner. Um, of uh, their other USB hubs that I got for the Mac uh, MacBook and then also for my uh, work laptop. Because um, like this laptop here, um, it's only got one USB-C port, so it doesn't really uh, fit, especially if you're uh, quite old school like me and I've still got a mouse and a, a keyboard that's still USB Type-A wired. Uh, and I haven't gone Bluetooth yet, um, so I do prefer those keyboards. So having the extra ports and everything else is really good to have. And as we see on the uh, the larger one here, on the 5 and one later, we will have the uh, HDMI as well. So if we just kick off then for the first one, so as you can see here, this is the 5 and one So this is the, the largest of the um, USB-C um, hubs. So as you can see on the back here, it does actually have um, a USB-C port. It has a three USB 3.0 ports and a HDMI uh, port as well. I put the HDMI uh, specifications um, up on the screen so you can have a look to see what resolutions and refresh rates it supports. So as you can see here, this is the model is a TC22L. And as we said, this is the larger of the two. So this is the five in one and includes the HDMI. But again, as you'll see later, it's actually still quite uh, portable and small. So these ones are really like pocket size and really good um, for you to uh, for travel. So as you can see here, this is a USB-C hub. Again, this doesn't have HDMI because it's smaller, but um, if you do just want multiple uh, type A uh, USB ports, then this is perfect for you uh, because of the size and uh, everything else. And what I like about these USB uh, hubs as well is that you just plug them in and they work. I haven't had any issues with the other one where uh, like um, I plugged in the uh, Ethernet and then HDMI and it just connects as well to the more, uh, monitor. So lastly, as you can see here, this is the smallest and this is like a tiny pocket one. But it's, it's amazing how much they can pack into something so small. So again, this is a model is TC53 and this is a four in one. So this is a USB type A um, uh, hub so as you can see here it's a USB type A 3.0 and by the look of it, it has four uh, USB type A ports as well so as you'll see later it is amazing how they can fit so many USB ports in there again it's perfect for me for if you're traveling you can just put it even into your pocket or um, rack sack or anything uh, and it's tiny so it'll go anywhere uh, travel so now let's have a quick have a look at uh, the the largest as we said so this is the five and one so if we just quickly do a bit of a quick unboxing so as i said in my previous videos i do quite like uh, they include normally uh, on here as well so they normally have like some uh, stickers so it's nice to have uh, these little extras kind of thing i know it's a uh, it's uh, good to have uh, as companies now seem to be giving you less and less. The packaging is nice and uh, strong as well. So you're not going to have a damaged product when it's shipped to you. And again, they protect the ports as well. Um, so as you can see here. So as we said before, it's a USB type C. Um, and then you've got one USB type C port here and three uh, USB 3.0 ports. And then also the HDMI. So once you've basically plugged this in, so it is, as I said, straightforward. So my USB type C port is here. I only have one on this uh, laptop. And you hear it straight away is connected and it recognizes you don't need to install any drivers. And that's the same for the others as well. And uh, you'll see the ports all automatically work. Um, I don't have another external monitor, but normally you'll just plug your HDMI monitor straight into here. And then I do have some uh, like memory sticks. So as you can see here, um, I have a SanDisk. It's not the fastest, it's quite an old uh, uh, USB 3.0 um, drive. So it has been, uh, I've had it for several years and everything else. But I'll give you a good idea as well. So how it works. So you can see straight away that it comes up, no issues. 
you can click on the drive and it's uh, automatically comes up there as well so as you can see it's as simple as that it works you no drivers or anything like that you just plug in uh, your your device uh, your USB or if you want the keyboard or your mouse and it just works straight away so um, I will give you a quick uh, little test here of the speed to give you an idea but again please don't take this as the fullest speed that this probably is capable of because uh, on here um, we do have um, this is quite an old USB 3.0 um, uh, drive and had it for several years so it's not the fastest but it'll give you an idea uh, of uh, an old drive plugged in and it will still be more than capable uh, for copying and, uh, uh, and writing to the drive. So now we'll move on to doing the speed test. So you can see now the uh, test uh, has completed. So you can see that my uh, it, it does read and write, um, no issues. And also, um, as I said before, um, it will get higher speeds if you've got a better USB drive. But I'm afraid uh, this is the only memory stick that I currently have and it is quite old and everything else. But as I said, as, as soon as you, um, you, you know you've got a different one, you can just plug it straight in uh, into the here and you'll see it just recognizes it straight away on each of the ports. Um, it's the same as well. So it's just literally, you can uh, take it out and then put it in and it's plug and play. And it's, it makes it straight, so straightforward for each of the ports as well. And the same as the HDMI as well. Um, as soon as you plug in the monitor, um, it'll come up as displays and ex external display uh, within the settings on Windows. So this has been the uh, review of the 5-in-1 USB-C. So now moving on to the 4-in-1 uh, USB-C hub. So this is the second USB-C hub that we've got to uh, review. As we said, this is the TC41. Um, this is the model number. So this actually is USB-C as well, and then it has four USB type A ports. So as you can see here, the packaging again is nice and strong, so uh, it's good. And then it comes all wrapped up in quality, so you, uh, you're not worried about when it's in transport. So this one is really light. It's made of a, a bit of a thinner plastic, but as you can see, it's much clearer. Um, and it does include the uh, ports here as well, again, the uh, four USB type A ports. So this doesn't have any USB type C ports. This is just for USB. So for this, it would be perfect for me when I'm uh, traveling about um, and I just need to plug in my uh, memory card or anything like that. Because uh, I've got a, a USB uh, type A and then I, I can put my micro or, or uh, SD cards into that. So you can see the cable is quite a fair, fair length as well. So it's good to have. Again, this just plugs into my... Um, into my USB-C port, so as so. And again, with uh, USB-C, uh, as you can see, you just heard Windows automatically recognizes already. And you do have a light here as well, as you can see, uh, the blue light LED just to show you that it's got power and is uh, working. Again, um, same as the other one, um, I've got my uh, old um, memory stick here and uh, basically this is USB 3.0. It is quite a few years old, so it is a bit on the slower side. But as you can see again, very straightforward. All you do is literally just plug it into any of these ports here, and it is literally plug and play. And again, as soon as you plug it in, it comes up on the actual, uh, on loads up straight away. And it's the same for any of these ports as well, literally. It's just nice plug and play. It's, you know, you don't have any issues or anything like that when you plug in these uh, devices. Um, it just, just works straight away, as you can see, it just loads up. So again, uh, I will just do a quick speed test for you. So again, uh, do take these with a bit of a pinch of salt because uh, these speed tests are not real world as well. And also this uh, drive of mine is uh, rather old, I'm afraid. Um, so it's not the fastest to give you an example, but again, I'll put you the uh, specs in the description 
um, and on your screen as well of, of the manufacturer's uh, details and what they'll say. So I'll, I'll quickly run this speed test and then you can, um, we'll come back afterwards. Now, of course, I'll speed this up for you. So now the uh, quick speed test to just give you an idea. Um, again, the uh, right speeds uh, are having uh, a bit slower than usual, but as you can put that down to my actually uh, older memory stick that I've got here. I do have uh, also just to show you, so um, an example of when we can, uh, if I you can just unplug that. And then also, as I said before, I do have, so just to give you an idea, it does work with all different kinds of uh, memory sticks as well. So this one is a micro SD adapter to USB type A. Uh, just to show you again how easy it is, literally you just push it in and it loads up straight away again. So you can see there the actual drive comes up with no issues or anything like that. So it literally is plug and play and this is actually by itself is very light. So this is really portable for a USB type A and for the price as well, you can't really moan to be honest, it's really good. Okay, so uh, that's the review of the 4-in-1 uh, USB Type Hub. So now this is the review of the 4-in-1 uh, USB Type A Hub. So as I said before, the other previous reviews are done are of uh, Type C. So this is for either an older style laptop or if you're like me, like I said previously, uh, I've got a still a wired mouse and keyboard so as this laptop does only have a few ports on it and one uh, type C port as well um, that and uh, quite a lot of manufacturers now seem to be limiting the ports it is good just to have uh, this type of one and also as you can see it is very tiny when we open it so this model is the TC53 so again um, packaging is nice and strong as well and as you can probably tell this is very, very uh, small, so you could even put it into your pocket. Uh, it's tiny. Uh, it's amazing how much they can pack into such a small little uh, device. And as you can see here, it really is uh, tiny. Um, it does have a good size cable as well, so that's good. So you can actually plug it in, so that's good. Because some of them come with really short ones, uh, like an inch, it's a bit ridiculous. This is a good length one as well. So as you can see here, as we said, uh, this is USB type A uh, port and then you've got the uh, three here USB type A ports as well and the USB 3.0 port here. I will put the specs on the screen so um, up here so you can see a bit more details around the specifications of the ports and everything else. But as we said the build again is uh, good quality, it's very strong so even if you drop it on the floor and everything else it's sturdy, the cable is thick and also you've got some good joints there because we know they're probably you'll be constantly bending these as well so it does have a good protection as well and it feels strong and not flimsy at all so yeah so this is absolutely tiny <laughs> i'm so surprised how small this is how this can fit in there again th this is a uh, quite straightforward so again all you have to do is basically i've got a um, one uh, type a port here that's a usb3 so all you do if i can get it the right way around it would help um, so you plug it in So again as with the others you can hear the sound from Windows it automatically recognize it. again no drivers um, So it's the same for Windows I believe for Windows 10 and Windows 11 uh, You don't need any drivers at all. So again, you can see just how small that is um, <laughs> It is it is absolutely tiny um, But it's really good um, and handy for something like uh, for what I need Again, so as we can see here, I had my uh, my old uh, memory stick. Again, as I said in previous uh, reviews, this one is quite old. So I do need to invest in perhaps getting a, a, a more up-to-date memory stick. This is several years old and I think it might be on its way out slightly. But it will give you an idea as well. So as you can see here, as soon as you, you plug it in. So unlike the other model, it doesn't have an LED to show you but you can clearly see it's working straight away. And the power is coming from the USB type A port from the laptop. And again, it loads straight up. So you can see from whichever port you actually put the uh, memory stick in, 
you can see it recognizes it straight away and it comes up in Windows. Um, so it has no, no problems at all. And again, if you have the one at the top here, it's amazing that, again, how many ports they can put in here. So you can have a look here and see. So as we can see here, this one here has got, it does have nice labeling as well on the side. So it's uh, quite a lot of detail. So it gives you an idea and everything else. So again, what we'll do is we'll just do a quick uh, speed test on the this one here. And uh, once we've done the speed test, then uh, we'll uh, come back. And of course, I'll speed up the speed test for you. Uh, so you're not waiting around. You can now see the uh, test is complete and just give you an idea of speed. So as you can see, they're not bad at all speeds at all. But this little tiny uh, little uh, USB 3 uh, Type-A uh, hub is amazing and the speeds you can actually get. Uh, and as you saw how easy it is again. So again, as you can see, I've got the actual uh, plugged in here, the actual memory stick. But you can see again, all I have to do is plug in the uh, second one here. And you'll see that the light comes on and you can see it automatically loads as well. So now I've got two drives that have loaded up straight away from this small device. And that's the same with the other two um, and the other USB-C hubs uh, from this brand as well. Um, so it is actually quite amazing this little tiny thing, what it can do um, and uh, the speed you can get as well. Okay, so uh, that's just been a review of the uh, USB uh, type A uh, hub. Um, as you can see again, I'm just still amazed on how small it is and how light and even with it being testing and everything else It gets lukewarm and not even that uh, hot to be honest. So that's really good to see as well So it will last quite long and everything Okay, so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the reviews if you do have any questions as usual uh, Then leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you and then again, um, in the description, I'll put where um, you can buy them from Amazon. Uh, normally they have special offers on, so look out for those as well, where you can uh, get a discount or a voucher code uh, off as well. Okay, have a great day and thanks for watching.